What's going on, everybody? We've got the Homestead Survivalist, and we got Gabe. Gabe has recently started uh, prepping, and he's putting a bag together, and we're going to go through it and check it out. We're going to critique it. That's what we're going to do. Well, help. We're going to help. Yep. Yeah. We're going to make Constructive it criticism, guys. Yeah. All right, I see what you got. Start it off here, big boy. Oh, I don't even like that. And the side pocket <laughs> over here. Yep, side pocket. We've got a little bit of team, and it's, that's just more for creature comfort. And I'm thinking, like, uh, even if it's not for yourself, it could be for somebody else. If you can do anything to make either yourself or somebody else calmer feel and feel more like they're at home, you yeah. can kind of ease people's mind a little bit, make them feel better. Yeah. Black tea, actually, too. Another thing you can do is uh, um, on burns. You can actually use black tea and put this on there wet. It helps out with that, too. Yeah, so if I'm around in this survival situation, we'll probably be practicing. And Homestead Survivalist can put that in his eye after I black it. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Is that called teabagging? <laughs> <laughs> what else you got going? Also got a metal water bottle here. It's just uh, probably eventually we'll put something else in this pocket. Just for now, that's what I've got in there. It's something. Do you it's know if container. it's double walled? I don't know. So another fun fact too, if it's a double walled, you cannot warm anything up in this. It will just take a long time. It, it'll, yeah. it'll take forever, and sometimes they have stuff inside Let's there see. too to mess it up. But is it, it full? No. no. Oh, that's probably single wall. Yeah, I don't know. It, they usually claim like double wall, like it's a great thing, but yeah, I know. It's pretty yeah. pretty light looking. Yeah, that's good. It's, it's good. It's a container. It is. Container. Yeah. We've also got a five hour energy in here. <laughs> Not bad. Just in case you, uh, you're you moving along and you're starting to feel down, but you don't have enough time maybe to eat or something and pick yourself back up, but you need to keep going. Yeah. Just boost yourself up a little bit. That's good. Or you need good. to be watching then, out. Yeah. Or maybe you're on night watch or something trying to stay awake. Yeah, that's good. It's good to have. That's it for that pocket. Well, we put it, do you want to put it back in or are we leaving it out? It's up to you, buddy. Either way. So we don't want. have it everywhere. Yeah, we can put it back in. Okay. Yeah, all that in the first pocket. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. He's got his call, call ladies on. Right here. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this bag is more like my EDC, and I'm thinking maybe if I'm in a situation where I'm uh, where I'm at camp somewhere, away from wherever we're going to end up being most of the time, that maybe I could be hunting. So this is a deer call. It's cheap, really uh, inexpensive. It's called an extinguisher, and it's only like... 25 30 dollars or something it works pretty common i've already this season of deer deer hunting i uh i already managed to call in a buck with this i know it works it's, it's easy to use as well and, uh, moving on to this pocket this is all my knives i got and a little bit of ammo here but uh this knife is for filleting and uh scaling fish also skinny. Skinny probably, yeah. It's a nice fat blade. Yeah. This is a, just a common buck knife. Nothing too special about it. Pull it out and see it. Old school. It's rusty and dirty, but I didn't want to throw my good, expensive new buck knife in there, so. Sometimes old ones are nice better too, than though. new, though. Yeah. You got a nice edge on there. <laughs> it's actually a shred. Wow. It is an old shred. That's not bad. Yeah. Mr. Shrade lover behind the camera. Hey, it worked. If it, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's right. <laughs> Couple blades. And uh, Karamba here for self defense. I've been hanging purposes. out with you way too much. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a Christmas gift from Always Survive there, so <laughs> thanks to him for that. <clears throat> See, I've also got a flashlight in here, just a cheap, uh, I think it was only a dollar somewhere. It'll probably won't last too long, but for a while it'll work. Yeah. And then another more tactical. This one should last a little bit longer. It was like five bucks. Still cheap, but it seems to be much better quality. Now the question I have for you, do you have backup batteries for those? I'm working on getting more. At the moment, I don't have any. Okay, we get one bad check on the mark there. Oh, man. <laughs> this is uh, just a little bit of extra mm -hmm. AR ammo in here. Yeah. Oh, we're good. Ammo, we need to get this yeah. kid some mags. It's... They got a couple more over on the... Uh... This here is uh, it's actually used to be an old uh, Velcro wallet, but I repurposed it, <laughs> and it filled all the pockets That's with ammo. Cool. Uh, 300 Win Mag, of course. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It. 
that that's that's using what you got. Oh yeah. Redundancy on the knives, that's always a good thing. Just like with the flashlight. Yeah, he's been hanging out with you. Yeah, yeah. sorry about that. <laughs> Hey Gabe, we need to have you buy a really, really good knife, and then you'll also never have to have another one. I mean, he gave me another one I've got on my side right now. It's uh, M Tech. M Tech. It's a pretty good. Yeah, I did a video on that one. Yeah. There you go. I played with that one. <laughs> but uh, moving on to this center pocket here. This is where I keep uh, all of my ammo. I've got a. Uh, not got, all your ammo, you well, have some ammo. Yeah, right there. most of my ammo. I've got another. This is actually, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. They advertise it as uh, an organizer for like cell phone cords and stuff, but it's another thing that's got pockets in it, and I just decided to fill it with more ammo. That works. Just can't have too much ammo in my mind. But. We really need to get this kid some max. <laughs> <laughs> He's working on it. You know, it's hard. It's what really hard when you're in a uh, you know battle situation or you're shooting ammo and you're doing this instead of this. <laughs> this is a there's uh, one <laughs> loaded 300 wind mag. There you go. And then you can't go far with that one. Got a loaded AR mag in here. <laughs> Happy now. SS 109s. And then uh, that would be everything for that pocket. Now this one's gonna get demonetized and everything because they pull their own legs. <laughs> ah, that was after six minutes. It should be all right. <laughs> six minutes, three pockets. Isn't it ridiculous, still, guys? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Now, moving on to the inside of the bag here. Those have pockets right there on the top? No, they're on the inside. Oh, okay. This is like a daggum suitcase. Yeah. Nice set. First pack. Here we go. Yeah. Let me see if I can move camera down a little bit so you can I see medical here you got bandages so in this pouch well. up here if you can see it this yep. is my medical pouch I've got hand sanitizer in here I've got hydrogen peroxide bandages neosporin first aid and then I've got some uh, q-tips in here and then I've got some surgical scissors okay. in case you've got to do something to anybody hydrogen peroxide what do you use that for uh, or cleaning out wounds that might be infected. That's one good use. Uh, Same with my mouth. If it gets too sore, you can yep. gargle. You can gargle help, it, yep. Helps um, some sore teeth. It, it does. It helps clean out your mouth and kind of basically mouthwash. There's a few other uses for it, but let's go look it up. <laughs> and down here in this pack, considering this is my EDC, I've got some hygiene in here. I've got a toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, body wash, and shampoo deodorant, bar of soap, and then uh, we got some Dawn dish soap, which can also be used as hand soap, whatever you need it for. Very nice. And then... Uh, you said you got hand sanitizer in here too? Yeah. Used for making fires as well. Like a good yeah, thing. double. Yep. Moving on to this section, we've got uh, it's not making it up, it's actually called a shit kit, <laughs> in case you gotta go to the bathroom. It's <laughs> good to have that. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna see his face. <laughs> He's like, what does this world come to? Is a bear shit in the woods? <laughs> yep. I mean, it's a shit kit. I love it. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh my Just so God. everybody else can see that too. Don't litter. Oh, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Where'd you come up with this shit? I saw it on Amazon. <laughs> And get it right yeah that's oh, great it comes with uh, four feet of toilet paper a wet wipe a hand wipe hand sanitizer and a disposable bag in case you're too much of a pussy to leave it in the woods <laughs> 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 oh my god the crap they what else up with. you got and this is just a simple uh, uh washcloth here i should really probably probably put it in a ziploc i keep yep. forgetting to do it just keep it dry is it black, sir? This is my fire starting bag. I've got some dryer lint in here and some cardboard. And then I've got uh, another bag that's inside of here, which has a mag bar in it, along with like four or five bots of matches. That's good. And I think possibly a lighter. I can't remember. It's been a while since I put it together now. But nice. simple fire starting kit. Oh, yeah. In here, I've got really heavy insulated wool socks, along with a uh, long sleeve insulated shirt. Nice. Why? Why the wool socks? 
Uh, in case you're sitting somewhere, like still, and your feet are cold, you want to put them on, but you need to remember that you can't move very much if you got them on, because if your feet sweat when you're cold, it's very bad to sweat, because you don't want to end up freezing. Wool socks, actually, if they're wet, and they're easy to dry out, they don't hold the moisture. So you get wool socks, it works it away, you can dry them out, they're warm. While they use you go anything else, um, it's actually bad. That's why you, if you're out in the cold weather, wool is probably one of your best for clothing. Still keep you warm when it's wet. Yeah, shirt, pants, yeah, it'll keep you warm. It'll actually create a barrier from the moisture. So that's a good thing with wool. And uh, another thing for just trying to keep yourself warm, another thing that I need to put in a Ziploc to make sure it stays uh, where it's supposed to be and stays dry, but just an insulated hat here. Very nice. It's not. It's not too heavy, but it's enough to keep you going. And then I've got a bag of a uh, hundred uh, cotton balls in here. Use them for medical purposes, or if you need to, to start a fire, or many uses for cotton balls. And I've got another, I've got a three pack in here, three in one. It's nice. got cotton uh, pads, cotton balls, and then Q-tips. Again, multi-use kind of thing there. We've got an emergency blanket in here. Gotta have it. Yeah. It reflects the heat. Really help if you need it to. And then another washcloth. Wrap it around or use it as a wall to reflect, like to reflect the heat from the fire. You put the put this in front of the fire between you and the fire, or the, the fire is going to be between this and you, and it creates a, a wall of heat, so it reflects back as well. Pitch the roof, something like that, so the smoke still comes through. Yeah, that's a whole oh, we don't deal. put it back. We'll put it back in a second. <laughs> this uh, it's really cheap from Walmart. It came in a two pack. It's just like those uh, aluminum foil cake pans. Yeah. But I threw it in here just because it could. Uh, it's thin, obviously. It sets in here and it doesn't create any more. Uh, it doesn't take up very much space, pretty much. But if you need to, you can cook food in it, or if you if you're desperate, you can boil water in it to try and purify your water so i just threw it in there it's container just another container and also an emergency reflector yeah, you can yeah. reflect the light if you want to be found you don't want to be found <laughs> uh, uh sanitizing wipes in there because you never know when you're gonna have to clean either your hands off because you need to eat or and a lot of things simple things oh yeah booty yeah Djibouti. This is a big uh, utility trash bag. Oh yeah. It's, uh, I think it holds, uh, it's either 55 gallons or 90 gallons. I can't remember which, but it can, mostly using it for collection purposes, whether you're collecting rainwater or whether you go out and collect leaves or small twigs for fires or anything. Shelter and also poncho if you need to as well. It's 55 gallons. A ton of stuff in there. Little bags that I survived. Uh, oh, those are familiar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are good. <laughs> then a little uh, steel bowl here. Just another thing to possibly cook food in or heat water up, whatever. Yeah. It's not very big, but for a bag where I need to conserve space, I figured I'd throw it in there. Something else, yeah. Collection, anything. I've got two of these in here. These are something that I've, I've only ever seen once, and I decided to pick them up but uh they're actually for if you go out and you shoot a deer what they are for is if you gut them obviously and clean them out like you're supposed to this is a bag and you'll wrap the bag around the animal and as long as it's below let's see it says somewhere here i believe it's uh yeah it's 40 degrees if you put the animal in the bag it'll keep the animal fresh it'll keep the meat from spoiling if the temperature is below 40 degrees. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you can also use it just as a meat bag. Yeah. Just give it a whole thing. Either way, man. This... Oh. This is a sheet of... Uh, it's either velvet or silk, but uh, black sheet. If you're cleaning a gun out or you've got like, really anything where you got a lot of small parts, if you lay them out, it helps you so that you don't lose your parts. I mean, you take... Spring one that's one pain. that's bad for me is I've got a couple lever action rifles and when you take those apart they've got so many tiny pieces in them and it just helps to make sure that you don't lose anything. That's good. Multi use as well. Yeah. I've got some cordage in here. It's not it's obviously not paracord, it's not very strong. I need to upgrade to paracord, but it's just 
something to help out a in line or something. case you need to set up shelter or oh, yeah, you can still tie branches. so many uses for it. Yeah, yeah definitely just, not a, a weight bearing or bearing hey. whatever. Useful. What else you got? Yeah. I've got some 20 pound braided fishing line in here. There you go. That's also, uh, you can use it for cordage or obviously fishing if you need to. Yeah. Or uh, some, some people either here. use it to stitch up wounds, possibly. Yeah. Also, uh, two floss. Yeah. Got some fishing lures in here. Just another way to try and uh, help yourself get some food if you need to. And then some more fishing lures. Very nice. And then what about your food side? All your little snackies. Yeah, and this is uh, this is all your food. I've all got right. some granola bars in here. Uh, Rice Krispie treat. Yeah. Sweet tooth boy. You're good. You don't have to empty out if that's all food. Yeah, yeah. More candy and then I've got some rice and uh, lunch and loaf and then... Stuff ready to eat. Cup soup. Oh yeah, cup soup, yeah. So you have something to boil water or whatever. Um, my recommendation would be to actually get a water water filter. Uh, so you can actually get just water. I just ordered a life straw it'll be here tomorrow. I want to go to Sawyer Mini as well. Yep. Yep. That's something you need You'll to have. You'll have that life straw tomorrow. Um, and then for your fire starting kit, that's good. I would end up getting something that is uh, wind got, and weather resistant. I do have, um, it came in already, the ferro rod. Okay. So. That's still, that's not, uh, whether it's you got wind or whatever, it messes you up. So. I've got something that I might have for you, but it sucks when you're trying to start a fire in the wind, it sucks when you're trying to start a fire in the rain, or yeah. even snowing sometimes too, or it's in the One wind, so. recommendation on the cotton balls, if you get a little bag of Vaseline or something, you know, because we did the fires yeah, like I that. I would take this bag, what you can do is you Antibiotic can it, on one side. And <laughs> yeah, cut Vaseline. this in half basically, and you have your uh, Vaseline or antibiotic on this side, or just one or the other, and then dry cotton balls. Uh, cut that in half. Um, multi use. Because well, he had the other one that had cotton balls still in it too, so he could leave them regular either yep. way. Yeah. Either I way, but it looks like a good man. pack for just starting. You Heck got yeah. a lot of everything that would you could food wise and uh well right now it would be boiling water, but as of tomorrow you have a filter or something. This would easily get you through a weekend of a problem probably. Yes, no, you you did a good job. Good job. Uh again we'll get some other containers for you too for, for and, drinking. So. You know, you can and everybody whether you get just a small thing of any kind of cordage this one's clothesline right yep. where you get any kind of cordage what whatsoever when you can get at the dollar tree even you can always get the paracord later but if you don't have nothing right now get something this is something right now, right now. Yep. so thank you Gabe for showing us the start of your pack and I'm sure it will evolve over time Definitely. and uh, thanks home says survivalist and uh, let us know what you think. You guys got any recommendations? I'm yeah, sure he'll be in the comments. Give some pointers, whatever. If you use it yeah. from us, but other, other opinions is great. Yeah. What do you guys keep in your 72-hour kit or whatever you want to call it? Uh, and uh, if you stayed on this long, thanks for watching, <laughs> and we'll see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Later.